Hey there everybody, welcome back with the plat. Really quick before we jump into the video, I just wanted to say thank you to each and every one of my patrons. If you're interested in becoming my patron, you can visit patreon.com slash perplatypus. Now, please enjoy the video. Hey there everybody, welcome back with the plat. Perplatypus is the name. Here's my kitty. One second. He's making noise, so I think he wanted to be on camera. Oh, he he does he's very shy. Sorry about that, buddy. All right, you can go back to licking yourself. Um, I want to do a video today about soul crystals and kind of try to explain to everyone how they work um, and kind of just give you the rundown. Um, you may have seen my last video where I gave my initial impressions. I think the soul crystal system kind of blows or rather, rather than just saying it sucks is I think it's bloated and it should have been added over time uh, stack things, but it's just a lot. It feels like it was just kind of shoved in there. Um, but we're gonna go through what it is and we're gonna kind of go through what each of these menus do and how you gather the things you need to do to make your soul kiss crystals stronger. First and foremost, the number one way to get soul crystals is gonna be to come over here to the soul skill hunt thing. You get one of these daily, so I do recommend just pulling these. I I personally don't recommend doing the uh, the 10 pull. That feels whale only to me right now. Honestly though, I'm not 100% an expert when it comes to spending in this game yet. Nothing feels that value um, when spending right now. And that might just be because I don't have uh, all the insight. But if you do wanna get uh, soul shards, this is one where you get, you come here, get one for free every day. I've gotten a few good ones, so it's likely you'll get a few good ones as well. Anyway, first thing is they are equipment, and you can equip them per everything, right? So here's all the characters. So let's just come to our character here. Look at this. I'm not even using them on my priest, which is my main loadout right now. That's embarrassing. All right. So this is a great example, right? Currently, I have resonance 0%. Resonance basically does something with the stats. So you want the resonance to be as high as possible. So the very first thing you look for is like this little circle. You see this in the bottom right corner? You highlight this character you can come here and take a look they have an ally resonance per platy poo which is this in this case is this is your main character and they get an additional 15 percent so if they're level 15 so they get 15 percent and they're going to give another 15 percent because of the synergy you can also take a look at other characters see if there are characters with a um uh, extra ally thing like this guy right is better with pop he gets an extra five percent when he's with pop um and so you know it's worth checking all these out in fact i don't even know what this character does um, with dye, but the, the, so this character is good with dye, but if you look at it as the three same gem colors as this one, so I thought characters have their own gem colors. They do not. Um, but I think currently, I think once you get a bit further into the game, you might really, really care about min maxing the benefits. Like I might really want to use a bunch of these guys on my, I'm, my main character is my priest. I just how I like to do it. Um, but look at raises recovery by 5%. I think that this could be really, really good. Um, on my main character, but I'm not so sure that it's super. I think I'd rather have the resonance right now. Uh, plus, I don't have another red orange. Actually, I do have one red orange with pop there. Um, so maybe I could make something work with that. With the but I think just getting the resonance is the most important right now. So, but make sure you look at your passives for when you're doing it. But I think high resonance is probably going to be a top priority first. So we're equipping this. We're equipping this. So this one's only giving 10%. Um, because it has a base resonance of 20%. You know what? I'm not sure why that one's only given a... Oh, it's it's plus... Sorry, it was plus 40%. And that's because it has the base of 20%, right? The base of 20%, but I think because all three of the gem types match, right? If we come back here, they have all the same colors. That is going to add to it. So it's the 20% plus another... 20% for having all the matching gems. I don't know. So uh, I would think it'd be 30%, but you can see these two together are 70. And so now you can kind of just look for whatever. Like this is going to give plus 16% because of the, it shares the white gem. But you can also look over here. It's going to uh, glow the gems that you currently have. But in case we could just look at blue, green, and white. So I could even equip this guy here because he's kind of cool. Um, Wonder what, what, what this is where I would definitely look at raises magical attack, raises fire damage, raises shadow resistance. Some of those things are calling out to me. Um, but you can see the the bonus is going to come simply because of the uh, thing here. I like physical defense honestly. Right now this is on die, and I don't really 
care about that on die. Oh, here we go. Perfect. Look at Green Dragon. Magical attack, magical defense, and then physical defense. Yeah, I like... Look at magical defense, 8%. Physical defense, 5%. Um, and damage dealt to dragon enemies is pretty irrelevant. But this is perfect. This is going to get us right up to that 100%. Sorry, die. I don't even use them. But now our resonance is max, and you can come over here, and you can take a look at all of our effects here, right? So this, like, I'll admit, these two aren't the most ideal for what we want. But the resonance is super, super important, I think. I think dragon is really good for what we want. And I do think that we could, um, now that we have this, I think we'd probably start moving towards getting more of a recovery thing. But that's basically how the equipment aspect of it works. Now, how do we actually go about getting these things stronger? So we figured out how to acquire them. We figured out how to equip them. Now let's figure out how to improve these things. So the first way and the most important way probably to improve them is simply by leveling them up. So you're gonna come over, sorry, I might be moving too fast. You're going to come over to the upgrade slash channel. Upgrade slash channel is different than upgrade. You don't need to. Okay. I'm not going to bitch about the system. I'm just going to teach about it. All right. Upgrade slash channel. So the first and the most efficient way to level up your shit is going to be to, well, to make it stronger rather is to level it up. You see, this is at level nine and it's the base resonance, at least for all the ones that I have, maybe it gets higher, uh, higher ones, right? Like, but at like level four, it goes up to four. So it looks like the base resonance is essentially equal to the level in all the cases that I see. Um, so this guy is at level 9. And so, you know what? Let's just pop him up. Do we have enough to bring him up to... Not quite. So let's... let's Instead, let's do one we can actually do. Here's a character I've used before. All right. So this is level 1. It's going to go to level 2. Pop it. Boom. There we go. Now it's at level 2. Base resonance 2%. All this does is increase the base resonance. It does nothing else... So if you're trying to make this effect stronger, do not level it up. The level just affects the base resonance. You can see here, pop, 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 pop. All it does is the base resonance. Now, if you want to know where to get these things, um, you can just hold down right here. And like, oh, I don't know where to get the large ones. I guess they're from quest rewards. The medium ones, let's take a look. Sorry, my, my holding finger is not holding. Excuse me. There we go. Um, you can take a look here. Quest. All right. Uh, extra quest for... Avens, Disciples, Assemble, you can grab these ones. So if you really want to level up these things, you can absolutely do it. I don't think it's super important. I mean, it is good. You might as well get them up to level 10, but you probably have enough to get several up to level 10 already. Um, so that's the number one thing, and that's going to increase your resonance score, which, again, increases stats and things like that. Um, very good. It might increase only the stats. <laughs> it's like, here's the thing where I don't actually remember. It might increase your character's base stats. It might only increase the stats of the resonance crystals themselves, but I do know high resonance is just good in general. So then we're going to go over to channel. Channel is basically um, increasing the rarity. You go up to two star to three star, um, which basically increases the max level, right? I don't think it does anything else. So this is just a way to get more resonance out of gems. And so I don't think that this is super wise, typically. I don't, like, maybe you want to do this sometimes, but I don't think increasing the rarity increases, increasing the rarity, increasing the level does not seem to me, and anything I've seen, to increase the strength of the abilities of the gem. This seems to be purely a way to get more resonance out of the gems that you currently have. Um, so keep that in mind. Now, that's how you're going to get higher resonance. Now let's actually go to, let's see what the other upgrade does. Yeah, I got to check myself. Upgrade. Okay, so this one is pretty nice. This is the way that you actually are going to, one of the two ways you're going to actually increase the abilities of this, right? So this is basically, you have dupes eat each other. Boom. And then you have a dupe. Can we uh, go to this? Let's go to this character so we can actually uh, show it. Let's go to change equipment here. Sorry about that. Quick cut. I had to go unequip these uh, characters. But as you can see here, if you have dupes, you can increase their soul skill rank, which this is actually the power level of their ability. So you're going to see they currently have this master inventor increases recovery thrust. I'm actually going to just dupe this one, right? Because it's going to bring these to rank two, all these abilities to rank two. So let's do it. It's 2000 gold, a little expensive. So far, this guy seems really good, honestly. Um, but we can't even look at him here. So let's go to all soul crystals. Let's take a look. 
And so it was at 5% before, now it's at 6%, right? So that's a little bit stronger, but more importantly, let's lock this guy because I definitely don't want to lose him. He's going to be, he's, I think he's, I definitely want to fit him on my priest because that's a huge buff. All right, so you you have dupes consume dupes to get stronger, very much like how weapons consume dupe weapons. Now, we can activate. Activate is basically what you do after you do the soul length thing, all right? So we can come here and we can take a look here. So this is the abilities he has. When you activate, um, let's see, can we do this? Yeah, we can do it twice. So as you use these things, they're gonna generate, it's not called experience, what the hell is it called? I don't know, the soul skill rank is, it looks like what they're calling it. Um, and basically what this is, is this is how you re-roll these abilities, not into different abilities, but to stronger versions of the ability. So you're gonna click this plus here, you can see everything you can get, right? So currently it has the weakest possible version at 6% uh, recovery and if you get lucky you can just roll randomly you can get hold up to 10 I believe um, and then you just keep rolling you're not guaranteed I think to ever get these high ones I don't know how rare they are and that's expensive so I don't know how you, much you want to spend it but there is no doubt that at least when it's at 6% if I come here and I just do two of them I'm guaranteed unless I get double six which I think is impossible it's only 200 gold in this case so we're activating the skill and now look at this. We got recovery 13%. Let's fucking go. That's super nice. And now if we come back to the character, uh, I know it's I know he's not available. And we'll actually see we actually did get the highest roll in that one. Typically, that's the first time I've got the highest roll. Typically, you're going to see the 11, 10, you know, right in this mid-range. Um, but so now instead of six, we've doubled the strength of that ability. And it will only get stronger as we increase his soul skill rank as well. Um, so if we get like three more dupes of them, this ability will get stronger as well. Maybe it'll go up to 15%, maybe it'll go up as high as 20%, which would be insane. Um, but that's basically what that is. So this whole system here, the upgrade is going to increase the strength of the passives and the table that you could pull from. And the activate lets you reroll the ones you have from that table. Just again, as another example, if we come to Green Dragon here, raises physical defense by 5%. Let's do magical defense. Let's do two. Let's take a look. We'll do this just one more time just to see. It's gonna, you see, it's gonna pull from this table, and we'll do raises magical defense by 10%. So it's 2% stronger. Is that hugely significant? I don't know. Probably not, but when you have three of these on a character, and maybe you know these things are stacking, you could suddenly get up to, you know, instead of 2%, maybe it's five, eight, ten percent bonuses, and those do start being pretty significant. Anyway, All right, so finally we have convert, which is kind of what you would expect, honestly. This is just you're taking your old junky ones and you are converting it into a way to get more experience um, and more of these things. Well, this is the resource that you use to channel your soul crystals, which again, channel as you come over here and you do this and you can increase the rarity. Like, you know what? This guy's been here the whole time. Let's just do it. It's 20,000 gold. That's not worth it, but I'm doing it. No, okay, I'm not doing it. Let's be honest. It's 20,000 gold. Uh, we'll do it on a cheap thing. All right, we'll find what's the cheapest fucking thing around. You know what? I like Draki more. Draki's a cool guy. What do you got here? It's 5,000 gold. Okay, I'm more. I'm willing to spend that. So we, we're going to do this. Yep, there you go. 5,000 gold and 20 of those. Draki, enjoy the juice. And now it is a three-star silver Draki. And so that's what you do. I don't, again, I don't feel like that's a hugely significant part of it. But there might be... <laughs> Like, I, I'm more knowledgeable about all this shit surrounding the system than I am is how the, what the system actually benefits you with. Like, I understand what these do. It's the resonance that I'm a little confused by. But you know what? This is one great thing about the game. Check this out. We come down here, and we go to support, and we get out of there because that is nothing. And we go to system guide, and we come down here to da, 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 multiplayer missions, change equipment, stats, characters, equipment, skills, trophies, boards, friends, soul crystals conversion activate soul crystals what are soul crystals equipping them soul crystal limit resonance equipping a soul uh, crystal will increase that character's resonance increasing their base stats the higher the resonance the more their stats are boosted resonance is displayed as a percentage with a maximum of 100 percent try increasing a character's soul level or experimenting with different combinations of the crystals to raise the resonance. So, resonance is the king, as I suspected. Um, and so with that, I think we're actually kind of done for today. Let me just make sure, see if I got this stuff. 
he's not quite there yet but you can see he's at 35 percent resonance which is why this character is feels so much weaker than this character who's at 73 percent right um and i actually only have those because of the synergy it, it's like i actually could like level these up and get him closer to 100 percent probably um but let's take a look at pop as well pops at 70 percent because he's in three of the same one and honestly i think that even though like this ability isn't what he wants he doesn't care about max hp that much I do think the base stats being improved is so important because if you take a look at the um we come back here bum, 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 bum. if we come to the boards the ally boards of this guy right you can see these base stats are very high and so getting huge amounts of those base stats is huge and i honestly my main character now is going to be a beast because he was at zero percent resonance before and now he's at a hundred percent so yeah obviously his attack is still going to be low but um that's it yeah that's how the soul crystals work i what, what what happened to the to the display it looks like it got a little funky there at the end hopefully you guys got to see everything i was doing um i th yeah you did everything's in the center of the screen these things at the bottom aren't that bad sorry about the aspect ratio um but that is going to be it i hope they add ways to farm these and if there is a way to farm them and i'm missing it please let me know you know what i'm i'm far not an expert on all things that are this game but i absolutely um do know more probably than the average person because i've played more um i've probably played more than a lot of people that are playing this casually so i'm just trying to get something out there to help people understand at least the start of the system so it doesn't feel so overwhelming but i'm sure there are some nuances that i am missing on so please uh, feel free to make the comments a discussion between players, you know, between me, educate me, educate each other. Always, you know, be cordial. Is cordial a word? I don't know. Be nice. We'll just say that. And that is going to be it for today. Perplatypus is perplatypus. I will see you next time. And thank you for watching. Also, final point. If you're still watching this at this point, two things. One, please subscribe. Might have already said that. But two, more importantly, I am going to record tomorrow a video of beginner questions. I'm making a list. I'm checking it twice, so if you have any questions you want in there, please make sure to include them in the comments as well. If, you have, if you're a brand new player and you just don't understand something, ask the plat, the plat will figure it out for you. Anyway, see ya. Peace. Bye.